Hi folks, I'm Alan Watts and this is Christmas Day again, 2012. It's amazing to get through it, isn't it, after all that's going on. And everyone out there, everyone of course, I'm sure that listens to Cutting Through the Matrix on RBN every week knows what's happening to the whole world basically. We're living through an amazing system and... uh, it certainly is going to have its, its effects on everybody. It already has, actually. And those around you that are not aware of what's actually happening, I'm sure you can see their behavior being changed, too, as they, they're modified, basically, by all their entertainments and the, the science now, the science of propaganda via media that's put down their throats. An incredible pace today. Let's churn this stuff out. And you might just say that the all, all the media is weaponized. Because it's true. And we are seeing the end of the, an old system, of course. Because this is, this is the new world order. And this is the century of change. Where the characters, strangely enough, I mean, it fits right in with the Christmas because... For thousands of years, it's this battle that's been going on, you see, to bring in a new system uh, run by the ones who believe that they're they're destined to to rule over it and uh, promote their own system and dominate the world, basically. Run it scientifically, the way they think it should be run. And I'm sure you know all of this by listening to the talks I've given over the years. But nevertheless, it's been a hard time for a lot of people as they continue to lose work across uh, what used to be the first world countries. And remember, too, the guys who are changing the whole system knew darn well, including all your politicians, when they put through NAFTA and GATS and gave the work to China, they knew that uh, the fallout would cause back home regarding joblessness and all the rest of it, and they put nothing in to replace it. Uh, the just this ridiculous service economy that every... I hate even using the term economists... Because I don't really believe it's a science as such, to be honest with you. It's a con job. But even the so-called best of them tell you that a, a service economy is only meant to keep you paddling in the water until you drown, and which eventually you must do. So it's been a long, long struggle, and people have suffered tremendously. There's more suffering to come, and all the governments have prepared way in advance for the fallout of a lot of discontented people or or desperate people even because uh, they've created their own internal armies they've signed lots of treaties to come to each other's aids in case things uh, fall apart which they think it will actually and um, step by step we're going down this path into austerity and you know that the terminology of course terminology is so important to the big boys because if you read their United Nations reports, you'll actually see them give it, bringing up a neologism like that. And, and they'll say that they have to basically institutionalize the term through society. They do it through the media. They do it through, through repetition at, at universities and so on. And that's how they get these terms out to the public until an abstract becomes a solid thing in your imagination. And that's how they do it. But really, they want to bring us down into pretty well poverty. That's the bottom line. And as they we're doing all that, uh, they've given us this incredible debt load to cope with at the same time. Although, yeah, it's all a scam. It's all, all money is a scam and accounting is a scam the way you do the accounting. It's all based on fraud, but uh, that's what they've given us to believe in, of course. And uh, and it's really important that, we, that they make us continue to believe in it as well, because unless you are contracted personally to take part in this, this fraud, then you really have nothing to do with it, including paying it off. Anyway, that's a different story. And getting back to what's happening right now, as I say, We've gone through, gone through massive changes, and uh, unfortunately, society, a lot of society has been wrecked in the process, uh, as it was designed to do, of course, by those who brought in this particular system, including the destruction of family unit and even natural community and the nations themselves. Everything that has been an enemy to a dominant minority for, for many, many, many centuries has been uh, destroyed with a war that most folk never even knew 
was deliberately planned and going on their whole lives. Still going on too, of course. And H.G. Wells and many others talked about this time, this particular time they would go through. And he was all for it, of course. And um, and we, we see that they've been pretty, pretty successful because the public were completely ignorant and unaware of what was being done to them. And even their, their, their entertainment, of course, which is so important, is one of the biggest arms of this type of uh, military uh, exercise, you might say. Without it, they couldn't get the changes through. And, uh, and that's because we adapt, we adopt what we see and we copy what we see behavior wise, terminology wise, fashion wise. And we're given all our opinions, of course, by this joke called the media. And, um, unfortunately, most folk believe it. They have no idea. They have no reason, do you see, to suspect that everything's weaponized and that they're fooled and conned. Uh, back in the, say, the 40s, 50s, people were far more astute regarding media. They knew they were privately owned. Uh, generations had always known that the press was always used uh, for propaganda purposes, owned by, and they were owned by private companies with their own ideologies. They always knew that. And a massive job was done in the public, especially during and after World War II, to try to train the public that somehow... The media was not just there. When you're born, it's just there. So they, they trained you to, th- to believe that um, it was somehow legitimate and honest and had no bones to pick. It was just straightforward. And they, had, they did a lot, a lot of work to make that happen. A lot of marketing techniques were used to convince the public that somehow the media was now a part of your reasoning. And unfortunately, it's worked for most folk. They really do believe everything they hear coming from that tube. Now, for the year ahead, we're going to see again more changes. Some of these changes we've been told about already, what they're going to plan and bring in. You have massive bureaucracies now, government agencies on every department, um, and they want into your home, they want into your life, they want into your head. And uh, unfortunately, they've given us the technology to make this uh, happen. They can enable them. So we're really in a bad way. But people still have uh, choices to make in their own lives. And they have choices what to do with their own head. Because um, if you forget for an instant, with any movie that you watch, for instance, or drama, whatever, that it's weaponized and it's full of images, images that are meant to be embedded inside your mind, which they'll do. But it's also designed to give you an opinion through some drama. And if it happened to you in real life, oh, you'd probably act the same way in that case. And that's how you, so simple, so simple, but it works so well. And and folk have no idea that this is how their their opinions are all given to them. So you have choices on what to do with your life. And for those who are just waking up, don't freak out and don't panic and don't make yourself a nuisance to people you know or you live with, especially your family, because you'll need friends down the road. And you can understand that not everyone can wake up. It's They have perfect indoctrination. It takes perfectly with some people. Others, it doesn't take so well. And they know this at the top. It's very much like hypnosis and suggestion. Very, very much like that. You find, for instance, about 60% of the general public in all studies for the last 50, 60 years, they've found that 60% are very suggestible and they can put them under quickly. They'll believe things very quickly to do with quiet cures, things like that. Uh, other ones you have to work on another 20% you can bring in with more and more work on them. But there's also about 20% that they simply can't touch, that, that somehow they've got a, a, a barrier to it. They have something that comes back and keeps them from from going under uh, this, uh, this kind of um, hypnosis or suggestion, and they think for themselves. Now, thinking for yourself is one thing, and you've got to be able to reason for yourselves as well. And I'm sure that's really uh, part of the process of waking up, is the one you call waking up goes. 
Some people have always been partially awake, just didn't have the data to fill in all the blanks. And some become destructive, self-destructive, because they just know everything's wrong, but they don't know what's, what it is. They haven't got the history to deal with. And uh, when they're on the right path, they can just take off like like wildfire and, and make a, a good use of their lives from then on. So as I say, if we, for those who are just newly waking up, don't panic, don't don't freak out, and don't follow all the, the people that they shove out you there for you to follow. There's hundreds of them, and of course you have to think for yourself through everything. That's the first thing you've got to learn, is think for yourself. And when you're thinking for yourself too, you have to understand the incredible deception in the world. Incredible deception. In these days, because it was Bernays that said it really that prime ministers and kings were obsolete, basically, because guys like himself, who were ma- you know massive marketers at the very top of marketing, they knew human behavior through behaviorism studies, and they kn- they knew and they still do know how to manipulate people's minds uh, through very simple techniques, really. And, um, and, and ads, don't put ads on television for just for you, just, just so you can laugh at them or switch it off. The ads actually work in a lot of people. And the same techniques are used for media and, and news, what's called news. So, as I've mentioned many times before, the mind has no firewall and you've got to construct your own basically. Decide what to let in and what not to let in. And sometimes it's good to open it up and clear it out as well. With all the junk being fed uh, down through the years called truth or reality. And as I say, we're into a new year again, uh, this, this year coming. And uh, we're going to see more and more changes, big changes. And it's time to stick together because uh, people will need other people during the tough, tough times to come. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. That's on the cards. It's planned that way. And we've got to keep our heads as well as we go through it all. And um, some of you have noticed, I'm sure, that uh, uh, I'm off for a few days. And this is the first time in six years I've had one week off. A complete week off. First in six years. And uh, I'll be putting that to good use and, and... and relaxing as well, and thinking about the past year and what's to come. But uh, as I say, remember at Christmas time, you're supposed to, um, outside all the presents and the hoopla and the nonsense that TV's replaced Christmas with, uh, to get rid of the original meaning, and that's the whole point of it. That's what all that stuff is out there for. And all the various movies it turned out to trivialize everything. Uh, the whole idea of Christmas was to do with uh, a battle going on, a battle in, uh, in this planet uh, between that which is right and that which is wrong, that which is good, that which, which is evil. And, of course, those who dominate the world today don't believe there's good or evil, and they even try to say that out of uh, evil can come good. So, in other words, they can, they, they can make the end justify the means, whatever they happen to do, like slaughtering people across the world, before they start slaughtering people back home. And then they'll justify it and rationalize it uh, in the aftermath as the, the, their new uh, improved system comes out uh, after all the chaos that they've created. So according to them, that's good, you see. So we're dealing with very vicious people, uh, psychopathic people, and I'm being polite on all of this too. And, um, and they won't change. Those at the top will not change. It's up to the people who understand to get the word out, and eventually there's enough people to stand and accuse. And when that happens, they have nowhere to run, and that's the whole point of it. They have nowhere to run. Uh, the glib tongues uh, simply uh, don't work anymore, and the lies don't work anymore. The old saying is, you know them by their, their works, not what they say. That is so important. So important. People fall for it. politicians all the time at voting time because they do their polls and their surveys and are told what to address, and it means nothing to them except getting you to vote them in. And once they're in, of course, nothing changes. The same one agenda, regardless of party, goes ahead. So 
always watch out and see what they actually do, not what they say. And because uh, we're all being tested, we're all being tested. And it doesn't ma- mean that you, you give up hope either, because they say hope springs eternal, and it's true. It gets people through incredible times in the past, and it'll get us through these times as well. But people have to stand up for themselves and stop, stop instead of being coward all the time. As you're being taught to be fearful, you're being taught to obey like any totalitarian society teaches its citizens to obey, and you've got to stand up with some dignity and self-respect and regain self-respect and dignity again and show them that, no, they're not going to have it all their own way here because their way leads literally, literally to a hell on earth. Hell on earth for the public. Anyway, as I say, keep going. And I'll see you after the new year. And and uh, look after the people around you, the ones that you care about, because I say you'll need each other as we go through tough, tough times. And I'll leave you with a little tune, a little tune. We do tunes in Scotland, you see. And um, I dragged the guitar. It was coughing again. It's annual, first annual little uh, dusting. And uh, did this little quick number for you. So I hope you enjoy it. And forgive me being a bit stiff in the fingers, but uh, it takes a bit of practice if you want to do it properly, <laughs> put it that way. Enjoy it anyway. And I'll see you, as I say, after the new year. And have a Merry Christmas.